Good evening. I am Srinivasa Popuri, working in the University of the West Indies, Cave Hill Campus. I play volleyball on weekends with some friends in one of the popular beaches in Barbados. This is me. <laughs> I'm not a professional player, but I am a scientist. That's why the ball ends up in the water rather than in our hands. I went to collect the ball from the sea, and when I turned back with the ball, I couldn't see my friends. I could not see white sand. I felt, oh my god, where am I? Because my surroundings are covered with uh, some brown colored plant having the tiny leaves and beautifully shaped bulbs. Yeah. And I realized, with scientific curiosity, I took a sample of this marine plant and I realized that I work with some of the material that is extracted from this marine plant several years ago, which is alginate. <coughs> when I returned home, I searched my previous work records and confirmed that the brown marine plant that is washing up on Caribbean coast is sargassum. During my PhD studies, I worked with alginate for developing different polymer and biopolymer membranes for various applications. What is a polymer and what is a biopolymer? Polymer is a large molecule made up of hundred or hundreds and thousands of repeated units. Biopolymers are carbohydrates produced by the living organisms and plant materials. And I started working on extracting alginate from the sargassum, from this freely available natural marine plant for various applications. Nature has a purpose because many of the products that we are developing today by using science and technology, the sources are from the nature. Even the materials which we consider as waste also has some purpose. For example, seafood waste such as crab, fran, lobster, or oyster, these shells contain chitosan, which is the second most abundant natural biopolymer after cellulose. We don't show any interest on this seafood, but the same material appears in our medical stores as glucosamine tablets for giant pains. Similarly, the alginate from sargassum can be used for many products ranging from food to cosmetics and even medicine. Some countries in East Asia are using sargassum as, as a food because it has one-fifth protein content compared to soya beans. The amount of sargassum invaded in Barbados last year was 10,000 tons per day. With the advantages of sargassum and the amount invaded, I feel Barbados is blessed with sargassum, <laughs> rather considering it as a threat. From my childhood, I was associated with natural resources because I am from rural area where agriculture is, is our major activity. My grandfather suggested to drink ginger water as a natural medicine to cure cold and cough as a child. But when my teachers explain how a particular compound, particular medicine is prepared from the compounds present in the ginger, it was so exciting for me as a school student and attracts me towards science. 
my teachers inspired me by the way they explain the chemistry concepts with scientific logic and showing the live examples. They taught me science always starts with why. Why? We always study the chemistry by starting with electrons are revolving around the nucleus, like the planets revolving around the sun. But why the planets are revolving around the sun? Why the planets are revolving around the sun? That's where the scientific logic begins. Creativity develops, which eventually leads to an innovation. Think different is one of the fundamental approaches of research that I learned. In the past, I used alginate for wastewater treatment and other applications. I choose biopolymers as my research topic because it has numerous advantages and more than 100 applications in our daily life. Using the scientific training of thinking different, I start thinking, how can I use the alginate, the biopolymer bio present in sargassum, to develop cosmetic products? By coincidence, a young lady, Miss Tiffany Husbands, approached me. She approached me and asked whether she could develop cosmetic products from the sargassum. I said, yes, and follow me to the lab. Over the course of three months, with the input of some other students, we developed body lotions and lipstick balm cosmetic products by using locally available essential oils. I'm continuing, I'm continuing my research on working using sargassum for medical applications. See, biopolymers are renewable and sustainable. They help to the environment by cutting carbon emissions. Most importantly, these biopolymers are degradable and compostable. Because they break down 90% days in six months, whereas the polymer, like plastic, PVC pipes, it takes more than 100 years. In Barbados, we have abundant natural resources all around the island. For example, Kytos, for example, cellulose from the cotton on East Coast, starch from potatoes in St. Lucie, chitosan from seafood waste in oysters, and alginate from sargassum. Effective use of these materials could be advantageous in many ways, including the strength and the economy. To craft our fate, we have to be responsible in proper utilization and preservation of these natural resources because if you protect the nature, the nature protects us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.